Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here with a quick Tesla update. So another gap up today, did not fill the gap. So watch if we break the load today's low for a full gap close, which would take us down to 252.38. So that's the level below today's low we'll be watching for. And then we'll be watching for a return to, uh, let's actually update this first. So you already see we hit our next major cluster area. So we were projecting this uh, 257 to 258 area, uh, 257.81 to 258.34 to be exact. What was the high today? 258.31. So that was pretty much spot on right now. What did I just do? We updated, I just updated the retracements to the pausing bar. Now I have to update the projections to the pausing bar and let's see what we get so first level of pullback we now have key support if we get through the gap fill we now have key support 248.15 and then we'll be watching for about 245 those are the two first two levels to the downside that and then key support coming in with the trend line at about 242 now to the upside first minor level 261.20 it sort of looks like it's it's running out of momentum and we do have a divergence here but we still have 261.20 upside and if we got through there then 268.48 remember earnings are next week let's see though we do have a divergence so higher high in price action lower high in the rsi so far so this is starting to run out of momentum so i would not be surprised to see a pullback and you'll be watching the key level of 248.15 as i mentioned for the first key bit of support that's pretty much all we have we'll do an end of week wrap up tomorrow and until then we'll talk to you later bye for now